something today uh, I got a haircut and well I really like it um, I mean it's gonna look completely different once I wash my hair again and dry it like I normally do you know and get my wavy curly hair back but right now I really really like it I'm really satisfied with it uh, and I don't know I wanted to kind of have a little story time here um, maybe nobody cares but I don't know for me because you've seen you know what kind of hair I have first of all I have a lot of hair really voluminous hair and it's wavy curly very frizzy it's just really demanding it's not you need a certain way to approach my hair to cut it and you know obviously every hair is different and you know every haircut is different and it looks it looks different based on what kind of hair you have you know whether it's it's straight curly wavy frizzy oily whatever so 
and I was kind of kind of scared to get a haircut in Korea because I know that most people here most women and girls here have like stray hair I don't even know the science behind it honestly I'm really bad at that I don't even know what kind of hair I have but what I know is that they're hair their kind of hair looks very different from mine and I was kind of scared to get a haircut in Korea so I started to look up because I, I was really tired of you know my haircut my hair was just like a big blob of mess and so I was like you know I really need to get a haircut and I started to look up like the best uh, hairdressers here in Seoul and even an hairdresser like that would speak a little bit of English because that's obviously really important to get my idea my point across um, and you know one of the top hair dressers here in Seoul is obviously Juno hair if you're from here you probably know that they're one of the top like salons here one of the number ones and they have like more than because it's a chain so they have more than one salon here in Seoul and I one of them was actually close to my place I live in Myeongdong in the Myeongdong area and there's actually more than one in the Myeongdong area but I walked I was able to walk to one of them so yeah I decided to go to Juno here because it had great reviews and they it's like on the reviews online they said they also the staff speaks a little bit of English and it's considered like a luxury uh, chain Juno you know, here like one of those lux more luxurious hair salons you know where you, where you get treated a little better um, but the price like it's so cheap like considering this is a, like more luxurious hair salon and treatment and everything I paid it was 30,000 won for a haircut um, which is in euros it's 22 euros I think like that's honestly really cheap um, in Italy I don't know how much it is wherever you're from you viewers that are watching but in Italy like a haircut on average it's about 30 euros which is what 40,000 won or something that's like the base fare I guess like 80% if not 90% of the hairdressers hair salons you go to that's the price they have and if you go to like the city like I come from Rome so if you go to like the center the city center it's probably even uh, more expensive than that so this was really cheap to me for me and you know, obviously I had really long hair uh, and I chop a lot off, but I'm kind of an impul impulsive person, so I was like, you know, let's just go for it. Once I set my mind to something, like, I, I there's no going back. Um, and yeah, they did straight hair, to be honest. Like, the whole experience was really great. I have nothing but good things to say, except for the fact that she just started to straighten my hair right away like without even asking and it was a good thing that I had actually been thinking about getting my hair straightened for a while because basically I, I, I never straightened my hair like I've straightened my hair like two or three times in total in my whole life um, I usually just you know have curly hair I live it the way it is um, but yeah I was thinking of that um, I actually wanted to try it when I had longer but whatever but yeah it would have been nice if she had asked but other than that like they welcomed me they gave me this like robe to wear with Juno hair written here they brought my bag and um, jacket into the locker room gave me a key for my locker and then they asked me to wait I waited like five minutes and then they brought me to the shampoo area they shampooed me like with this reclining chair uh, so yeah and so I was like laying down and then they put like an eye mask on my eyes and uh, gave me like a blanket to put on my legs and then they start massaging my my scalp and everything um, and then yeah she just asked me how long I wanted my hair and then if I wanted layers or not if I wanted bangs or not uh, and then she start, started cutting and yeah I think this is the result yeah and then she started 
straightening it like she dried it up obviously and then she started straightening it and yeah so they even gave she even gave me my air stylist they even gave me like a sample like they gave me a package that came in this with a bunch of, of things inside uh, like a business card from like this was my hair stylist Suyun and some discount coupons and some freebies some shampoos so that was really really nice I'm really pleasantly pleased with my experience with my haircut and I just wanted to share that with you because I think you know when I was thinking of getting a haircut in Korea I was doing a lot of research and looking up like on YouTube like people who, who had gotten haircuts like girls women who had gotten haircuts in Korea just to see what their experience was like and hopefully from people who had like a hair type similar to mine and yeah so maybe maybe this will help some other foreigners who are currently in Korea or that will come to Korea and, and might be thinking of getting a haircut here I guess or maybe you don't care and you just like to hear me talk about Seoul because I used to do that too or maybe you just like my new haircut I don't know whatever hope this helps bye